Hey guys, it's Nye McFly and I'm so happy to be back with another video on how I got this fly bantu knot style. I'm using all as I am products, styling products, so let me know what you think and I won't hold you up any longer, let's jump right in. Starting off on freshly co-washed hair, I used my Shea Moisture Black Castor Oil Treatment Mask while I was in the shower. I saw you finally cross the bar and I am not a Spanish descendant. I all these things the way I do. I apply my leave-in before styling by dividing my hair into four sections and applying to each section thoroughly. This creates an even base layer to start building products on. Next, I resection my hair in two sections going from ear to ear. Starting at the nape of my head, I create my first part. I separate that in two, and those will be my first two bantu knots. I am not a Spanish descent. I'm fucked up on the way I know. Parting your own hair yourself can be very difficult. I have a $3 mirror from Sally's. I hold that in my hand, facing the back, and then use that mirror to stare into my bathroom mirror, which helps me see the back of my head. It's a very complicated task, but with practice, you'll get it. To be sure that my hair can soak up as much moisture as it can, I like to put on my twist defining cream and my curling jelly to each subsection individually. Smoothing, not scrunching. And now I begin to bantu knot my hair. Twisting my hair until it starts to coil itself and then wrapping the ends of my hair around the base of the bantu knot to secure it. For the knots that tend to unravel, I simply just put a black scrunchie around it to keep it still. Never a rubber band. You're wrapping the ends of your hair, so to put a rubber band around that and then to take it off damages your ends and can possibly pull out pieces of your hair. Just to recap, first I part my hair, next I apply the twist defining cream, then I apply my curling jelly, and lastly I begin to bantu knot. Chinchilla in the 
Tryna run up on my ear, talking all that raspy shit. Tryna ask me shit. When my niggas figure that they ain't gon' pass me shit. Whew. Now that the hard part is over, time to make it fly. I got this string from Michaels. It was a few dollars, maybe like three or so. And they gave me two yards, I believe. So I cut it in half and I'm just using this to wrap around my Bantu knot. It took me a couple tries to figure out how I wanted to wrap it, if I wanted to cover the entire Bantu knot, or if I wanted to just string it in there. It's up to you, however you decide to style your hair. have this coil that I bought from the beauty supply store for a dollar. I'm using this to just wrap around my bantu knots. I cut one actually into little pieces and I'm using it as clips around some bantu knots. I treat my hair how I treat my art. I really never know until I start. It's very abstract for me. I was very nervous trying to record this for you guys because it's always so hard for me to get these styles documented because I'm so random and just so I just jump right in but I'm so happy I got this recorded for you guys and I really hope I helped a lot. Can't leave a style like this without touching up the baby hairs so of course I'm going in with my toothbrush and I decided to try edge wax because I feel like a wax is better for your edges than like a gel because that just makes my hair more curly so I'm going in with this edge wax that I ended up loving. I'm glad to see you guys made it to the end. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I love the As I Am products. That was my first time using them. The leave-in conditioner was so moisturizing and um, very easy for me to detangle while still parting my hair and being able to go through and prepare for the Bantu knots. The twist defining cream was also very moisturizing for my low porosity hair and I feel like it really got to the point I could see my curls kind of detangle themselves as soon as I put them in and it also helped smooth my hair in preparation for the Bantu knots. Um, and last but not least, the curling jelly. I love the curling jelly. Only thing is, is the container it's in is a little, uh, I feel like not appropriate for the product. Uh, was very messy, but I really loved it for my hair. As soon as I put it in my hair, I could see my curls um, separating. Really kept the, um, the moisture in without a crunch without any buildup and I feel really good about that I really 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 just need as I am to give me another container please just put this in a pump or a uh, squirt bottle like I'll probably put this product in a pump or a squirt bottle myself overall I do love the as I am collection and I will definitely be using it again so thank you guys so much for being patient with me and sticking it out through this video and I hope you enjoy.